This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recorded by Nicole Doolin. On the web at NicoleDoolin.com. January 2006. Annabel Lee by Edgar Allan Poe. It was many and many a year ago, in a kingdom by the sea, that a maiden there lived, whom you may know, by the name of Annabel Lee. And this maiden she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. She was a child, and I was a child, in this kingdom by the sea. But we loved with a love that was more than love, I and my Annabel Lee, with a love that the winged seraphs of heaven coveted her and me. And this was the reason that long ago, in this kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud by night, chilling my Annabel Lee, so that her high-born kinsmen came and bore her away from me to shut her up in a sepulchre in this kingdom by the sea. The angels, not half so happy in heaven, went envying her and me. Yes, that was the reason, as all men know, in this kingdom by the sea, that the wind came out of a cloud, chilling and killing my Annabel Lee. But our love it was stronger by far than the love of those who were older than we, of many far wiser than we. And neither the angels in heaven above, nor the demons down under the sea, can ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabel Lee. For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabel Lee. And the stars never rise, but I see the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabel Lee. And so, all the night tide, I lie down by the side of my darling, my darling, my life and my bride, in her sepulchre there by the sea, in her tomb by the side of the sea. End of Annabel Lee by Edgar Allan Poe Recorded by Nicole Doolin On the web at NicoleDoolin.com